Greetings, Skytech here once again with another teardown video. This one is going to be on the Vivitar Bluetooth speaker. Now, I purchased this about a year ago from uh, Sears in a local Sears here. Um, this is speaker is marketed as a shower speaker. Uh, it's supposed to be waterproof to a point, and it's got a nice big suction cup on the back here so it can attach to the wall of your shower and you can listen to your tunes while you get all nice and clean um, first impression of this thing it's cheap I I went into this with low expectations it was the cheapest one they had by far I think it was like 20 bucks um, it's got you know decent sound quality it's mono obviously it only has one speaker the speakers in the back here you can sort of see underneath this little perforated spot here which doesn't seem really very waterproof to me maybe there's a seal inside there we'll find out in a minute here um, some of the pros and cons of this thing just from using it I mean obviously it's cheap so there's that if you're just using it as a Bluetooth speaker like if you're in the bathroom and you're just using it to listen to music while you take a shit or something it's great for that um, the problem I have with it is once you turn on the shower it's just not loud enough you can't really hear much of anything uh, I've tried listening to an audiobook in the shower with this, and it's just, it just doesn't work. You can't tell what they're saying. You can listen to music, but it's not loud enough to really, you know, hear. Like, you wouldn't really be able to tell what song was playing unless you really knew the song. Um, it has a nice feature here. That little hole, I don't know if you can see that. That's a microphone. And uh, it actually does have the ability to answer calls, and you can have a conversation with someone while you're in the shower, which I've done. And uh, the sound quality is not bad. It does work very well with, uh, I mean, the controls work very well with Android and iOS devices. Um, so it's, you know, functionality, it's not bad. Gets put maybe like a 9 out of 10 because I have had a couple times where it uh, didn't pair right away. Um, other than that, I mean, it's, it's all right. The biggest con of this that I have found, other than the fact that it's just not loud enough, it doesn't have a volume control. There's no volume control anywhere on this thing. So you, you're you in the shower and the music's not loud enough, obviously. So you go to turn it up and, oh shit, now you got to reach out of the shower and grab your phone and get water on it and turn up the volume there. It's just, that is, that's really the Achilles heel of this thing. It doesn't have a volume control, which to me is just a deal breaker. Um... If I'd have known that, I wouldn't have bought it, even for 20 bucks. I would have spent another 15, 20 bucks and got another one. But, I mean, that all that being said, the battery life is not bad. Uh, I have noticed kind of an interesting phenomenon when the battery gets a little bit low. It gets all, it doesn't just immediately cut off. It gets all fuzzy and uh, the gets even quieter than normal, which I, I'm not sure what that means. I'm thinking it might mean that there's no uh, discharge protection on the battery, which would be kind of scary but um i don't know so enough talking let's get inside this thing let's check it out uh the suction cup does come off and i'm actually going to take it off just to make getting these screws a little bit easier it's not easy to get it off and it's not it's way it's even harder to get it back on um and i after a year's worth of use you know it's 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 held together fairly well so the construction quality is not bad it is made out of this kind of like rubberized plastic. Um, okay, first screw is very rusty. Let's see here. Uh, the charging time on this is pretty low. I tried hooking it up um, through an amp meter, and it charges at about 200 uh, milliamps. That's the highest I've seen it get, even on a big, beefy power supply so it it does seem to be going to be current limited for charging which is good all right let's crack this open here okay what do we got here okay first of all i'm noticing there's a nice little um silicone some sort of o-ring seal around the edge here and i gotta say there is no sign whatsoever that water has been inside here so I guess the water resistant part is working. Um, these holes here just go right to the speaker. Oh, and look at that. The speaker's actually like not fully in there. 
So that would be, I mean, that that's a direct path for water to get in right there. Just one of these little speakers. And there's only one speaker, like I said, so it's mono. I may actually put some hot glue around that before I put this back together just to preserve the watertight seal there. Um, of course, you know, the USB charging port does have a water resistant seal there. And it actually fits pretty snugly, so I, I would assume that would do a pretty good job. Um, okay, what do we got in here? I'm going to tighten up the focus on this just a little bit here. So we can get a close look at this bad boy. Okay, first thing I'm noticing is this looks like this looks like just an off-the-shelf um, Bluetooth board that they've attached on here. I uh, can't read the model number on that. They put some paint over the top of it. I think it says five. It's either a three or an eight. It looks like it says five three five one. Ah, it's just hard to. Ah, I'll put it on the screen. Figure it out. Um, should be right up here somewhere. And uh, other than that, I'm guessing this little chip here is probably could be the amplifier. Um, there's a little antenna down there. Yeah, not too bad. And like I said, there's no signs of there's no signs that there's been any water in here. I don't see anything that looks remotely like water damage. It's a 3.7 volt, 400 milliamp hour lithium battery here, and uh, that comes out rather easily. Now I'm not seeing. That's just attached directly to the battery. One of these must be a charge controller. Because I don't want to believe that they would just... I'm seeing this little chip here says LTH7. And this other one here I think might be a MOSFET. So that's probably a charge control circuit right there. Um, go ahead and disconnect that. I'm going to mess with that later. Well, yeah, I mean, all in all, this is a pretty decent little device. Um, you get what you pay for. Um, this is definitely a $20 Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> it's, you know, if you really want high quality music while you shower, you're going to you're gonna spend a little bit more than twenty bucks. Uh, if you want decent quality music when you hang out in the bathroom, yeah, this is a good this is a good device for you. Uh, it'd be great for taking baths. Um, you know, where it's nice and quiet, and you can uh, play your music without shower noises coming over the top of you. I'm just going to take apart this um, take this board off and just look at the button panel behind it. It's going to be those little touch you know rubber bladder type things with the touch sensitive panel behind it. Oh it's not! Oh it's actual there's actual buttons on here. Look at this! Okay I was expecting it to be those little um, those little black uh, contact pads, but it's not. They actually put buttons on here, and there's the microphone. And there's two LEDs, uh, red and a blue. The red, it's basically just for telling you when the battery's low and uh, telling you when it's charging. The blue tells you when you turn it on and when it's ready for pairing. And I'm noticing here that this is rather interesting. There's a piece of I don't know if that's for waterproofing or maybe that's just for keeping water off the buttons. I don't know. I don't. I can't imagine that water would get through there. But uh, I'm noticing that there's just a hole for the microphone. But it, I think they've put another. Let's see, there's a piece of black rubber in there, and they, that must be to kind of make it fit a little bit more snugly around the actual can of the microphone itself. I think it's a condenser microphone because um, it seems like it, you know, it picks up sound from all the way across the room. It's very sensitive. 
but uh, this, yeah, no other seals in there. It's just, although it does kind of, I mean, look at this. It, they did make an effort to, I don't like that one little hole there, but they did make an effort to make this as water resistant as they could get it. I can tell. Um, it does show. I I was actually expecting this to be way worse in here. I was not expecting the seal around the edge. I was expecting to see signs that water had been in here. But uh, there's none. I mean, this looks like it would continue working for quite a while. So, I guess I'll put it back together and I'll put it back in my shower. Um, Sears Vivitar speaker. One thing I would have noticed is that more recently, since I bought this, um, I've started seeing them this exact same model speaker turn up at uh, for sale at you know, gas stations, and I think I even saw one at uh, well, a couple of them over at Walmart. Then the ones they had at the gas stations were packaged entirely differently than the one I got. They're in these little square boxes. The one I got was in you know just sort of a blister pack, sort of generic blister pack, and um, the ones at the gas station were available in different colors, and they were in a totally different type of packaging. So, depending on how much they cost, I may pick one of those up at some point and just see if they've made any improvements, um, see if the circuitry on the inside is the same. And, uh, yeah. So, if I ever do that, I'll definitely make another video and we can compare these. But, uh, yeah, in the meantime, I think this is going back in my shower. Um, it's not perfect, but, you know, gets the job done.